Hey, sports fans, Larry Eater. This is the Tokyo Breakdown for day five. Our first final is the women's long jump. Brittany Reese has been winning long jump world championships and Olympic competitions. She's got a gold and a silver in uh, Olympic competitions. I think it's five golds and world champs. Um, she is the consummate competitor. She sees everything like a basketball game and she loves the slam dunk. And she's a especially good at last jump heroics. She has won Olympic medals that way. Um, Malika Mihambo from Germany uh, has gone 730. She's a brilliant jumper and she can put it together too. Uh, Ivana Spanovic from Serbia. I watched her in 2017 put together the second finest series of jumps indoors uh, I've ever seen. Uh, with a best, I think it was at 724. It was just crazy. Um, and S.A. Broom from Nigeria, S.A. is always dangerous. Uh, Tara Davis is someone to watch, a young jumper um, from Texas. She has won the NCAA title and took second to uh, Brittany Reese in the U.S. Olympic trials. But it came down to Brittany Reese, Essay Broom, Ivana Spanovich, and Malika Mahambo. Brittany got out there 697 and was just ahead of Mahambo. Essay Broom had 697, but Brittany got the silver, uh, who was ahead of her on countback. And on the final jump, Malika Mahambo, who has been kind of off for the last year, she lost the um, European endorse. Malika put it all together. The German long jumper just got her act together and went seven meters when she needed to seasonal best. Brittany Reese took her silver 697 essay broom from Nigeria, 697. And in fourth place, Issa Sponovich 691 and the USA's uh, Tara Davis 684 in fifth was Marnia Beck Roman Chuck at 688 who had won the European indoor title. But this is all about Malika Mahambo. She's back. She's ready. Let's watch her some big jumps during the Diamond League. Hey, sports fans, this is the uh, men's 400-meter hurdle final. Karsten Warholm has been running the 400-meter hurdles since 2014 when his PB was 52-2-0. He was also a decathlete, and he'd run the 400 flat. In 2016, he won the under-23s in Europe, decathlon, as well as the 400 hurdles. Since then, he hasn't looked back. 2017, he surprised people, won the 400 hurdles of the world champs. 2019, defended it. And in 2020, him, Ry Benjamin, uh, Allison Dos Santos, Abdir Samba, Yasmini Capello were rocking the world. But Karsten Warholm has been getting tantalizingly close to the world record. Well, back in June of 2021, Ry Benjamin, Dropped a 46.84, barely missing Kevin Young's iconic 1992 world record. Less than a week later, Karsten Warholm and Oslo went 46.70 and broke Kevin Young's record. So the scene was set. What would happen in Tokyo? Well, in the semifinals, uh, Karsten Warholm and Rye Benjamin, in some poor, poor programming, uh, competed against each other in the semis. And uh, Karsten pushed ahead 47.32 to 47.37. The scene was set for the final. Warholm got out. Benjamin got out. Great starts. The other story for this year is Allison DeSantos, who set five personal bests during the season. Um, they came off hurdle seven, and Benjamin and Warholm were together. They battled through hurdles eight and nine, and just after 10, Warholm took it over, setting a world record of 45.94.76 faster than his previous world record. First man under 46 seconds. Rye Benjamin, 46.17, a new U.S. record and area record. Allison Dos Santos, 46.72, a new area record. Just think about that. Dos Santos is faster than Kevin Young. He would have had the world record up until recently, and so would Rye Benjamin. There's an amazing picture of Rye just shaking his head 
uh, after the race and in fact saying sorry mom when he, he was interviewed by um lewis johnson uh he was he was just broken up karsten warholm said that all three of them deserved the gold medal uh but it really belonged to karsten he has revolutionized the 400 meter hurdles and like what mondo duplantis and sam kendrick's Piotr Lysik and Renola Villene have done in the men's pole vault. But Karsten, Rye, Allison, Kyron McMaster have done for the 400 meter hurdles. They are making these global events. Karsten Warholm, gold medal, world record, 4594. Yes, it will be broken again. All right, guys, we're in, uh, oh, this is day five, and it's our uh, uh, season. Session two, um, evening session, starts with the men's full vault, men's pole vault. Okay, I've been having way too much coffee today. Um, the men's pole vault changed a few days ago when Sam Kendricks was locked up in a room under quarantine because he had COVID. Sam, I think, could have competed. Uh, would he have uh, beat Mondo? I'm not sure anybody can, but if anybody can, Sam can. Mondo Duplantis, 602 gold medal. Just again showed how wonderful of a talent uh, he is and how lucky we are to have him in the world. Uh, Christopher Nielsen, Chris Nielsen, USA, silver medal, 5-9, a personal best. Remember what I said about personal best in an Olympic competition? Christopher Nielsen did awesome. Tiago Braz, the defending champion from Rio, got the bronze medal, 587. This was Tiago's best competition. In five years, since 2016, he's been faltering. People who enjoyed him, loved his, his competition, were wondering, well, was he a flash in the pan? He's definitely not a flash in the pan. Casey Lightfoot was uh, tied for fourth with the Mono League Carales at uh, 580. But again, it was the Mondo story. And Mondo um, did three attempts at 619. His first one, I, I don't understand how he didn't clear it. And in fact, his two of his brothers were on uh, World Athletics TV, and they're giving him absolute crap going, how did you not clear it? But Mondo is a tremendous talent. And between Mondo, Nielsen, Braz, Piotr Lysik, and Sam, they have got people excited about the men's pole vault. We don't need another Usain Bolt. What we need is great athletes in each event building a fan base. That's how the sport grows. That was the men's pole vault. Mondo took gold. Okay, sports fans, this is a women's hammer throw. And all I can say for Deanna Price is uh, my heart goes out to her. She finished in eighth place. Um, I thought she had medal, perhaps gold medal, written all over her. But her best throw was 73 meters. She just couldn't relax. And um, with the way she threw in Doha when she won the gold medal there uh, and the way she threw in Tokyo were night and day. Um, it was Anita Wodzarczyk's night. She went 78-48 for a seasonal best to take gold. Zen Wang from China, 77-03. And Malwina Kopron from Poland, 75-49. Poland is a hammer, crazy, crazy country. They, they love track and field. And I need to go and hang out and watch some track meets and, you know, eat some Polish sausage, drink some Polish beer. But we will get to that, you know, post-pandemic. But Anita looked fantastic. She dominated everything. Zen Wang looked pretty good. And Melwina Copron was in tears getting her bronze medal. But it was Anita with Larzik's night. Unfortunately, Deanna Price will have to wait until next year in Eugene to um, see what she can do. That is the women's hammer throw. This is the women's final for the 800 meters. Two words, a thing, moo. I have seen the light. I have seen the future. I have seen the present. I have seen the future. And uh, Kurt Vonnegut, my, one of my favorite writers, would try and travel ahead, and I think Moo's still going to be winning. But I think took this thing out, and she led from beginning to end, 155-21 national record. There was a stretch about, um, oh gosh, about uh, 720 meters where she was off the um, off lane one. 
and I thought Keely Hodgkinson was going to Hodgkinson was going to run in the middle, but Keely did not. Keely took the silver, going past Gemma Riki, her British compatriot. Keely, 19 years old as well, went 155.88, a new national record, broke um, Laura Muir's record and the former record of Dame um, Kelly Holmes. In third place, Raven Rogers from the U.S. gave me another, you know, heart sensation when she went from sixth place to third place, going past Gemma Riki, Chun Yu Wang, and Hobby Tom Alimu. Raven 156 81 PB US gets gold and bronze. Keely Hodgson Hodgkinson gets silver and makes all the Brits happy. That's the women's 800 meters. And now we've got the women's 200 meters. That's at the end of day five. I'll tell you, I didn't see this one. Uh, you know, and, and I can be romantic. I wanted Shawnee Miller Weibo to win because Shawnee had told me. Well, you know, I've got a gold medal in the 400. It'd really be nice to have a, a gold medal in the 200. Well, you know, it'd really be nice for me to have some chocolate Easter eggs, but I don't have that right now. That uh, 200 final, Shawnee miller Weibo, Mujinga Kambunji, uh, Beatrice Masalingi, Mary Jose Talu, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, Gabriel Thomas, Christine Bamwa, and Elaine thompson Hurrah. It was Elaine's race. Elaine had just defended her 100-meter title a couple of days ago. She ran like a proverbial Jamaican bat out of hell, burned that turn, and owned that race, 21.53, national record. Zoom, the only one faster than her, the late Florence Griffith Joyner. Yep, Elaine Thompson could barely run two years ago. She was having terrible pains in her Achilles. I'm not sure if she had surgery or what they had to do, but I do recall in 17 and 18, her running 200s and racing flats, which totally blew my mind. Uh, Christine Mabamwa is from Namibia. She can't run. She can run events from 200 and below or over 5,000. She has a naturally occurring higher amount of testosterone. I think that there's going to be some questions asked because Christine, who seems like a lovely kid, um, set, not only said PBs, but a uh, world under 20 records every time she ran 2211 in the semis 2281 here world under 20 record I i'm waiting for the rest of the women to get really annoyed about this um but I i'm right now i'm just going to kind of leave it there gabby thomas from the us who'd run that 2161 was able to hold on and run 2187 and took the bronze and she was ecstatic about that shelly ann fraser price who I thought would win the 200, 21.94 in fourth. Marie Jose Talu, 22.27 in fifth. And Beatrice Masalingi from Namibia, again, another athlete like Christine Bama. Um, she, uh, Beatrice won 22.28 PB. Um, they're allowed to run 200 and less in the 5,000 and above. If testosterone um, gives you a benefit, uh, in the 400, the 800, and 1500, it sure as hell gives you a benefit in the 200 and 100. I think this is absolutely stark raving nuts. Um, I want people to compete, but I also don't want women's events being bastardized. We've dealt with this stuff before. We had to deal with the GDR, where they were, it was better running through chemistry. Well, this is a natural occurring thing. What do we do? And again, Christine and uh, uh, Beatrice seem like lovely young women, um, but there's some challenges and we need to talk about this in an honest way, in a non-emotional way. But Elaine Thompson, hurrah, 2153, national record. Christine Bama, 2181, world under 20 record. And Gabby Thomas, third place, bronze medal, 2187. That's the end of day five, women's 200 meters. This is the Tokyo Breakdown Review.